Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys another look at one of the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Um, this one is of the Sand Trooper. So very cool. He actually was cheaper than Panda Baba, who I reviewed earlier. Um, so that's kind of funny, but they were all found at Half Price Books. They're part of one of the Hasbro 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series waves that was really poorly distributed. And I'm only seeing it for the first time, like, years later. So, um, kind of interesting. But obviously, they don't do the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series anymore. At least right now, they've discontinued this part of the line. So we have the original red and black packaging, which we're still seeing on current figures. I digress. Um, but anyways, it's pretty cool. It looks like he comes packed with accessories, which I think why this line was so sought after. Um, and this is really the kind of figure quality that we look for as fans, and I think it makes people really excited to see all the different accessories that they can come with. Um, I think it's fantastic. So um, I think originally these were part of a Target ex or no Walmart exclusive. Um, they had started doing these as Walmart only, and so there's no number on the side. Um, of course, later it goes to Barnes and Note or Half Price Books, so that's kind of weird. Um, but let me go ahead and open this guy up, and we'll take a closer look at him. Alrighty guys, so here is the Sand Trooper out of package, but before we go into him, I do want to touch base on his accessories because he does have quite a few. Uh, first off, he has his Sand Trooper backpack, which is pretty familiar now. Um, it comes with just some extra accessories I think that a Storm Trooper would need in a desert environment. Um, but we see these uh, quite frequently on Sand Troopers, or it comes in like an accessory pack in the past. So um, nothing crazy here. There is some coloring. You've got some light blue details mixed with black um, and a little bit of silver highlighting on some pieces of it. But it's really cool. Nice, like, little bulky backpack. I don't know. I think it's it's there's something about it that's really cool to me. So we do have that. Um, he comes with a long long barreled rifle which is really cool it comes in a sling and I really like the way that sling is is sculpted around the barrel just as it should be um, I think this looks really nice um, really cool that they that they included this weapon I think so this would be like kind of a longer range weapon a heavier weapon by chance um, it looks like it was a normal rifle and they put some sort of larger um, barrel on it but really cool I like the the detail in the sling is actually pretty uh, good I don't know if you can pick it up or not but it looks cloth so that's really neat and then we get um, this thing, which I think is some sort of scanning droid or probing droid. Um, it's really interesting. It's got a lot of little pieces, but um, it's nice that it comes with it, but I don't really have a huge use for it, being that it doesn't come with like a stand or anything. So um, there is that option right there. Pretty cool. Um, I like the coloring, silver and black. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the front is, though, to be honest. Um, and then, of course, he comes with his normal... Um, Stormtrooper Blaster, which this one's actually pretty detailed in terms of mechanics. Um, I've only seen it fold out like this on the figure arts, but basically these these blasters do this. They fold out into, uh, they give you like a shoulder rest, um, so that part comes up, and then I think that you hold it in there because you'd hold it up on your shoulder like that. Uh, it also might be flipped. I think it's this way. But I always really think that that's super neat that the, these guns do that, but very um, rarely is it actually included in a three inch, three and three quarter inch design just because it's like a lot of little moving mechanics. So it's interesting that they included it with a Stormtrooper, but it's really cool. You just fold it up over just like that and it stays really well, just like that. So really cool. I like that gun a lot. It's super cool. Um, moving on to the Stormtrooper, or the Sand Trooper, I should say. Um, he's got a really nice wash. I hope that you can see it on camera, but basically he's just white, and they have taken literally what looks like some sort of sand-colored wash and brushed it on the figure in manufacturing and um, had it dry, and it looks pretty good. Um, the helmet as well looks pretty um, realistic to me. Um, I think that the scale on it is pretty nice. The proportions look pretty even, and so good detailing there. And then, of course, it's got the gray parts on the back and then there is um his pauldron his sand colored pauldron which looks really nice um or not sand it's orange i'm sorry um that's how you can kind of differentiate the sand trooper i think captains or commanders so really good little thing there and then of course the rest of his body um he's just like a i mean he definitely is probably just a repaint of some other figure to be honest with just a different wash but i really like it i think it comes off really nicely um it's kind of subtle uh, very cool. I like the difference in um, Stormtroopers. That's always really fun. And so here's his back here and of course his belt. Um, this one, however, does not have a little tube on the belt and I wonder if that was on purpose um, or they just forgot to include it. That is part of an essential Stormtrooper belt, um, but oh well. Um, you can put his backpack on, I believe, by just clicking it in the hole here. So now he looks very equipped to deal with the um, sandy conditions of Tatooine. 
So very cool. In terms of articulation, I think he's relatively similar to most of them that have come out. Uh, ball jointed head, pretty restricted by the pauldron here. Um, shoulders, elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hips, uh, ball joint, or I'm sorry, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, um, knees, and ankles. So overall, he is a pretty cool figure. I think he looks great. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.